Yo, what's happening? What's happening? This is Donnie Tamar, man, with the Obscure Old School Hip Hop Reviews. We gonna get into something right now, man. Try to clear the air on what people were saying on my page. Now look, when it comes to freestyle fellowship, Bone Thugs and Harmony, they are two different entities, you know? At the end of the day, when Freestyle Fellowship probably made Mary, that probably was the end of 92, early 93, or just probably was 93. But um, I'm going to get into it. Just really telling y'all the uh, reason why I don't think that, you know, Styles was bitten. So look, follow me. Um, with me being a huge Bone Thugs fan my whole life, I heard the music that they made when they were children, you know? Even though they were children when they first came out, uh, when they was babies, babies, when they had, sh when everybody had short hair and they was Bone Enterprise, yeah, man, I definitely, definitely was hearing that music. So let me give y'all the rundown. For uh, I'm gonna start with Freestyle Fellowship. Now, as we knew, Freestyle Fellowship was a, a legendary group. If y'all did not know about Freestyle Fellowship, y'all not from LA, and then y'all don't know nothing about LA hip hop really, because when it comes to them, their name should be cemented. Cemented as one of the greatest groups ever. Want to know why? Because they were freestyling. <laughs> Man, my favorite uh, MC from there was uh, AC Alone. AC Alone, man. Um, Y'all talking about stealing styles. Nigga, I done stole a lot of AC Alone's style, not material. His poetic style. You know what I mean? In my work. So, um, I'm influenced by him. As far as um, the rundown on them, they were... Uh, indeed, in the industry, because of that song, um, any standard inner city boundaries that was on a strap soundtrack in '92. So that album came out in '93. That song was uh, on strap in '92. You know what I'm saying? Self Jupiter said to himself in the comments of this video that when they were in the industry, they did industry things. Easy E was in a VIP of the industry. You know what I'm saying? So, that's really kind of telling you something without telling you something. But no. We're going to get into it. But before we get into it, I would like to say, man, make sure y'all drink y'all water. What y'all think I was doing, man? Look, I might kill this right now, but still and all, man, drink some water, man. Yeah. All right. So... Yeah, like I was saying, man, I don't think they bit anything, but we're going to get into it right now. Nigga Micah 9, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but look, listen, I'm just going to have to put it in perspective. So that right there, what you just heard, the first 46 seconds of this, it was jazz theme. What is Bone Thugs? They're more R&B, old school R&B, melodic. They're like a singing group. They're like a jazz group. Um, is the flow like uh, Busy Bones? Yes. Want to know why? Because they were fucking high. Busy Bone was fucking high out of his mind. So, with weed and you just rapping, you're going to sound like Busy Bone at one point when you do it a lot. You know what I mean? But um, I'm going to get right, in, I'm going to get straight into it further in the mid video though. All right, so listen. My thing about that is, is that, are they biting? No. No. Um, you want to know why? Because Bone Thugs have been rapping fast. Uh, when it came to 92, they've been rapping fast for, I think it had been over, huh, I think it had been over three years or two years. Because they, they came out with Faces of Death early on. You know what I mean? It wasn't two years before 94. I think it was 91, 1990. I got to do my research more diligently with that one. But nah, they was, nah, they was super young and they made flow motion. I flow, flow, then I go and flow mo. I'm going to give y'all that too one day. Um, but still and all, nah. Nah, I don't think they stole a style. Not because I, I love them niggas, but 
is because, man, I just got to call an ace an ace of spade and spade. Sometimes people are similar. You know what I mean? As far as a notorious B1, that situation, nah. That wasn't no similar situation. You know what I mean? It sounded like, you know, Puff heard it and was like, you got to do this record. It'll be perfect for you. You know what I'm saying? As I stated in the video. You know what I'm saying? Um, but um, I'm going to let y'all uh, decide even more. Wow. All right. Y'all heard that, right? One thing y'all need to realize is that was just AC alone and Micah 9 going back and forth. You didn't hear Jupiter. You didn't hear the other dude. You didn't hear the other dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. It, it's no style biting in this. This one was a huge coincidence. And then they only made one song like that throughout the whole album. But they, they have tracks like this on other uh, projects. You know what I mean? But throughout the whole album, Inner City Grids, I don't remember them rapping like this on the album. You know what I'm saying? I got to refresh, of course, because it's been, man, it's been like, man, it's been, uh, it's been like five years since I visited Inner City Grids. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, going back and back and back. Because I used to play that album. And he that used to be... 2017, Heavy Rotation, Inner City Grids. Check that album out. That's one of the best albums ever. But I haven't picked it up in five years. I'm going to revisit that today. You know what I mean? But Style Biting, nah. Bone is, was original. They were more, like I said, melodic. You hear a high voice, a high octave, and then you hear a low octave. You know what I mean? It was always that with Bone. This one, no. You don't hear it so much because Micah 9 and uh, AC alone, they don't have high voices. You know what I'm saying? They both, you know, got like, you know, mid-tempo. I mean, not mid-tempo, damn. Uh, the mid and then the deep, and, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I think. All right, there we go. But I'm going to show y'all something right quick. I'm going to show y'all something right quick. Show y'all something right quick. Thing. Later, you know what I'm saying? He was down there, shit. He was like, um, we was down there hustling, you know what I'm saying? He had left to go try to get on welfare. You know, I answered the phone, you know what I'm saying? But I had to use the bathroom, shit. So when he said, let me speak the phone, I passed the phone to busy. I hear him talking, and so he's like, yeah, what's up, what's up, such and such. And then, and then I heard me break like, what? This Easy E. The Easy E from Ruthless Records. Busy like, well, hold on, listen to this right quick. And then he passed the phone to me and shit. How the rap went? How that shit went? What you rap on the phone for me? What crazy bomb? This book 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 the one suck. Yeah, and the suckers they pick up they pin and they try to get timber single that they win is dead mat. Ten is blasting. Pick up my gun and you're running up from the assassin. I'm popping the clip in the yes. Who a nigga with the best man? The good is pulling the trigger and just cause I'm slimmer. They figure they pick up a boy you consider this kill and this kill and your cat. That with the look just this bull in the pack. Strap so pack your gad if I see you like I'm a see with the mind. You see? So, them individuals have been rapping like that for years. Look up Flow Motion by Bone Thugs. Crazy Bone was rapping like that for years. He got it from Big Daddy Kane. He said, okay, so I got it from Big Daddy. He said, you know, I want to extend it. Because Big Daddy Kane did that for like two seconds. You know what I'm saying? Not literally two seconds, but he did that for, you know, a little bit. But Crazy Bone was like, nah, man, I want my all my verses to be rap to be just like that after he went to jail for uh accidentally shooting Wish. You know what I'm saying? So, nah. Y'all cut it out, man. Ain't no bite. They didn't steal nothing from nobody. You know what I'm saying? Um, some dude asked me, did they steal it from Gangsta Pat in Memphis? They didn't they like I said, they didn't steal nothing from nobody. Um, when I first heard Gangsta Pat, 
I thought Gangsta Pat was biting Lynch. Lynch Hung is my favorite rapper in the world. But, nah, man, ain't, no. Yeah, and I still second that motion. I think Gangsta Pat stole from Lynch. You know what I mean? I'm playing. But, nah, not really. But, nah, I love y'all, man. Peace out until next time, man. Obscure old school hip-hop reviews.